George, a very competitive game against Middlesbrough today. What was it like to play in? Yeah, obviously we know they're a decent team, uh, well set up and well organised and you know, especially at this place they get a lot of people forward and make it difficult for you. So disappointed obviously to um, to concede uh, after mm. leading twice, but you know, I think it's a decent point uh, if we take care of our home games. Is that just a tough thing really? It was competitive, it was entertaining as well to watch. The only finishing touch was the three points at the end and you did come so close to getting it. Yeah, I think so, like you said, we're so close, but you know, I've I've been here many years now, and you know, under a bit of pressure here, especially we we have uh, we have crumbled a little bit. So, you know, I think it, like I said, if we take care of our home games now coming up, it's a decent point. But obviously disappointed to to uh, to give away two points. What do you think was the issue with the the goal with eight minutes to go? It's I guess it's frustrating, isn't it, to have a free header that close to goal? Did you get a good idea of, of what the issue was? Um, I think he was just unmarked. Uh, I think he was in marked in the first in the first phase. And then obviously we defended that in the second phase. I think he was unmarked again. But you know these things happen. We need to tighten up a little bit about it because obviously, like I said, they're throwing men forward and kind of the uh, the tactics and and your man who you're supposed to pick up kind of uh, goes out the window. And it's a case of organising it yourself on the pitch. And you know we didn't do it quick enough. And he was unmarked. And you know the balls fell to him. It was a decent finish. On the positive side, some good goals scored. And the team seems to have sort of settled into a flow early in the season. I know it's a win, draw and a loss. You'd hope for maybe more than that, but you seem to have sort of settled into the season well enough. Yeah, I mean, it's been three three tough fixtures so far. Um, better start than last year, of course. Um, but we'd like more, of course, and I know we're capable of more. But, you know, we've um, we've got two games now at home, I believe. And, you know, like I said, you know, they'll be really important. And you know how much the lads here love playing at Bramall Lane. And, you know, the fans will get behind us and hopefully couple of positive results and, and it will be and it will be looking a lot a lot better. New faces have come into the team. I wanted to ask you about Ahmed Odzic. What have you seen from him so far since he's come in? Because he looks like he's settled in well. Yeah, he's a fantastic player. Um, very, very good defender, natural defender. And I think you can see his quality on the ball as well. He's he's kind of of the of the Basham mould uh, yeah. in terms of you know he likes to drive forward with the ball, but he's also a very, very good defender. So you know he's been he's been brilliant. Um, very mature head on his shoulders as well. For such a, a young guy and. You know, he's, he's settled in really well and um, a great acquisition by the club. What are you seeing from Sander Berger as well? That was a really good, well-taken goal, wasn't it, to kick things off? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm really close to Sander and, you know, we, we speak a lot. And, you know, I, I'm a firm believer that, you know, when he's on it and when he wants to, you, you can be the best player in this league by, um, by quite a way. He's, he's unstoppable sometimes. And even his goal there, when he, when he kind of squared the, the defender up as soon as he got a half a yard, you know, I've seen it so many times in training, I knew it was going in. So before he even shot... Um, you know, he's a real threat, and I think he's getting better and better, and more confident. So, uh, yeah, I still think we've got the best to co best to come from him. But um, yeah, fan, amazing player. Mm. How do you think he's developing? As good as he is, he sort of came here as maybe a six, but that's the type of goal that you know eight and a ten scores. And do you think he can sort of add that to his game as the season goes on? Yeah, definitely. He's got goals in him, but I think you know one of the reasons why he's such a top top player because he can play multiple positions. I think you know he'd be fantastic anywhere he played in this team, and you know at the minute the manager wants him a bit further forward, and he's developing his game to, to suit that. And you know credit to him because he works so hard. And like I said, he's got goals in him, like we saw towards the end of last season, and um, I'm sure he'll get many more. And do you think you've given yourself a base in these first three league games, especially because it's tough at the start of the season? You've got a lot of games. You've, you've already picked up injuries as a team, haven't you, as well? So to get through the first three, four points on the board is that a good start? Um, could be better. Obviously, we'd have we'd have liked to have held out today, and you know I don't think we were great against Watford. Um, first game of the season is always difficult, and you know they got their tails up early on. With, you know, some decent forwards, and the crowd got behind them and stuff. But you know I think we could have been better in that game. I thought Millwall were fantastic, and then today I think you know it was a decent away performance. On another day we we win the three, get the three points, and you know like I said it's, it is going to be difficult away from home in this league. Um, and I think we proved today that you know we've got that side to us. And like I said, on another day, hopefully uh, we get more points. Cheers. Thank Cheers. You, Thank you.